don't want you to have a look at it just yet. This tutorial is going to be a quick and easy project. I definitely think a beginner can do this project, definitely. And it's just about changing a skirt into a belt, so basically putting a skirt in, the skirt in half. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be dramatic and it does help if you have a skirt that is a little bit of a wrap over, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but definitely a super easy, quick tutorial. Definitely I would recommend it for beginners. So let's just get into the video. This is a skirt that I'm going to upcycle turn it into a corset belt it's not a great fitting um, skirt so I'm going to bring a camera down okay so I'm working on the back because it's going to be easier because of the asymmetrical design on the front and the bulk that's there as well so let's keep it as flat as possible and I'm going to use the darts as a guideline so whether or not you have got darts, back darts in your garment, just go for your hip area, the level of where your hips are will probably be the best option and just go, you know, a few centimetres or inches down below that point so that you can fold it under in order to have a facing. So I'm going to, my the end of the darts is roughly where my hip level is, so I'm going to go say 2.5 centimeters which is roughly an inch just below that dart and repeat it on the other side before that let me just check because I want to make sure that it's even that's there and that will just bring the back zip yeah that's where it ends right so the zip may be a bit of an issue so I'll need to secure the zip to make sure that when I do pull the zipper the zip down like so the slider it doesn't come off i do have a video tutorial on how to secure the bottom of a zip so i'll link that below so before i actually cut that is what you should do secure the bottom of your zip link in the description but i'm going to cut and then i'm going to do that once I've cut. Okay, so let's put a couple more pins in here. You can chalk this if you wish. I am just going to use pins as my marker and then just take it from there. So this bottom section is what we don't need. I'm sure I'll be able to use it in another project. So I'm going to get my scissors and cut, make a little snip here in the side and then just cut all the way to the other side. So I created my stopper there and now I'm just going to release the zip tape from the seams. Make sure it comes quite considerably up from the cut edge because you want to be able to fold it back like so.
Okay, they're there. So all I need to do now is then just take it to the sewing machine, just do a small straight stitch from this point to that point here, just to close that back seam and then cut the rest of this away. But I'll, but I'll do it now. About well, that much should be fine. And I'll go to my sewing machine and cut that and then I'll be able to fold back and create a nice finished edge to the bottom of this corset belt. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I am also on the Patreon platform. Links are in the description, so do click on that and do pay me a visit. And let's get back to the video. I have stitched the seam in place. And the next thing to do, I would recommend doing that before you cut in the front because you just never know <laughs> when it comes to zips. I mean, I've had moments where I've done this kind of technique before and it's like, I pull the slider and it's like, oh my goodness, I should have just have gone in there and just secured it before I moved on to the next stage. So yeah. So the next stage after that, making sure that I've secured my zip is then to cut the front. Now I've got a wrap over feature here. So that's gonna be cut last because I want it to go diagonal. So I'm going to pin the waist to make sure it's even. And then I'm just going to get my scissors and then just cut all the way to that point there. But it's going to be a bit tricky because I could only cut up to a certain point. Actually, I can only cut up to that point because I'll be hitting the wrap over. So let me just get a couple more pins in here. And where does it wrap over? It starts there. So, how am I going to do this? Now I'm going to get my scissors. It's kind of just following it around. Okay, then I'm going to... You may not have this problem, depending on the style of skirt you are working with. I'm going to put some more pins at the bottom, I think would be best. Don't you? Okay. And put my hand underneath. Just making sure I cut through one layer and not cutting through the feature of the wrap. Okay, move the pins at the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, let me just turn this that way. Oh, that looks nice already, doesn't it? Oh, so I want to go like that. So I think I'll experiment and start there. Maybe it may be a little bit too long, but we shall see. Yes, just go in that direction. Just gonna eyeball that. This helps actually, this invisible line, believe it or not. Maybe more so on plain fabric rather than this dog tooth print. Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, that looks amazing. I like that. Okay, that will be saved for another project. I'm sure. Okay, so the next step after this is just. Oh, that's attached, isn't it? Oh, I've got some unpicking to do. Yes, that's, that's and that's okay. Actually, I just have to pick it to here, and then fold it back. I don't know, do I need to fold it back? I don't actually. Hmm. We shall. We shall see. I probably will have to actually. Yeah, it's a bit bulky here. Right. Okay, so take the pins out. I've got pins in at the back, haven't I? Okay. That's a nice belt. Do you like that? So what I'm going to do then next is then to just turn it and hand sew. Just hand sewing is going to be involved is the next process after I have fitted it so you can see and then it will be a case of some hand sewing. So let's go and do a fit and see what this looks like. I don't want you to have a look at it just yet. Gorgeous! Oh, that feels like a corset as well. Oh, um, yeah, I love it. Give me a twirl. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I love it. Um, yeah. What can I say? There's nothing else to be said. It's an amazing fit. There is a bit of stretch in this in, in this fabric. Um, yeah, it's just a case of me doing some hand sewing and turning this back like so. I don't know, should I? Because I won't I won't turn this back. Um I don't know. It won't fray. I think for now I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna tap the seams to make sure they don't unravel. Um no that's that is gorgeous. That'll look amazing with pants, a skirt, a dress. I just love it, yeah. It was meant to be like this, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, I need to take it off now <laughs> and get on with the rest of the day. Okay, I've still got it on. I don't think I'll take it off for the rest of the day, to be truthful. Um, 
it feels absolutely comfortable. It does feel like a corset. I do feel as though it's holding me in. Um, it was definitely meant to be a belt, a corset belt. I just love it. I just hope you'll be able to create something similar for yourselves. Um, but yeah, I don't think I will hem it though. I don't think I will. I'm tempted to because that's what I'm used to doing. <laughs> um, but for this occasion, I won't. I won't do it. But um, do keep a lookout for my outfits of the week because there is where I will tell you whether or not I've made any other adjustments to any of the projects that I have done on my channel and I've done that for the past few weeks now I've been doing it quite a bit that because sometimes you just think when you come to an end of a project you think it's it's done and it isn't but it could be and maybe I'm just looking for perfection which I don't think I am I'm just making sure it feels comfortable so I keep on wearing it time and time again so I'm going to wear it without finishing off this raw edge but saying that I've got fabric that doesn't fray and there's some stretch in this fabric as well so do bear that in mind when you are looking for a similar skirt to upcycle and is there anything else I don't think there is no just enjoy the project and I'll take this off at some point <laughs> just before going to bed I suppose but at the moment no it's I'm keeping it on and um yeah I'm just going to experiment. Yeah, that's another thing that I tend to do as well is that I will test a garment out. So I'll wear it, see how comfortable it feels. If there's any issues, then obviously I've said my, my outfits of the week is where I'll tell you about them and I make necessary adjustments and tell you about them in those videos as well. But no, I am loving this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> no. Um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please do share do like it below the like button is the subscribe button don't forget to subscribe to my channel that is how I grow if you have any comments or queries please put those in the comment box below and do remember to check for links for anything that I've mentioned as a sewing tutorial within this video and I will see you next time thank you for watching <laughs>